Well, hey, good morning and welcome to Sonoran Living Live. I'm Stephanie Sandoval. Thanks for starting out your day with us. Have you started to think about dear old dad? Let me ask you this. Have you even thought about picking up a card at the very least? You have just a couple days to get it to him. Um, and I know that as you start to think about your dad, sometimes you have your dads with you. Sometimes they've already, uh, you know, they've left you. But um, in any case, as we start to focus our attention on the man that really is probably the most important man in our life in many cases, we want to help you create some great memories and some great gifts. So our next guest, Rich Glisson, the owner of Heritage Hats in Phoenix, is going to help us treat dad to uh, a little fashion show, perhaps, um, in his own home once he gets a hat. Um, nice to have you on the show. Thank you. Tell me a little bit about this, uh, this idea of getting dad a hat, because to be honest, if it's my dad or my husband, I feel a little intimidated that I'm not going to pick the right size or shape or, you know, uh, style for, for well, his face. Well, sometimes that can be a problem if it's their first hat, mm -hmm. but normally when a, a lady comes into the store to buy a hat, she kind of knows the style that her husband or boyfriend already wears, so Got she kind of she tries to stay within that theme. Well, let's talk about some of the hats that you've brought today and what makes them so unique. I know we fedoras are a big deal, right? Fedoras now. are the number one selling hats, yeah. And fedora is just a style. Uh, you get into these, which are Panamas, which are also fedoras. Okay, but good to know. But when a hat is a Panama, it's actually handmade in Ecuador. I a lot got of people it. assume that some of the other fedoras are Panamas, but if they are true. Panamas, we import these in from Ecuador, and these are all handmade. So what makes this one, and is there a proper way to pick up a hat? I know Always by the hat, brim, you don't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because, th and this is actually a softer straw, so you don't have to be But I wouldn't careful. be grabbing this one right there, because we take great pride in right. shaping this. And when you come into our store, we actually have signs not to grab the hats here, because with time, it'll break this down. But this is like our Western styles here. Then you've got the Panamas, fedoras, the gambler, which is a good hiking hat. The one I have on is from Australia. This is a hiking hat. Okay. And this is our number one hiking hat, which is the Breezer. That comes in from Australia, and it's a good summer hat for here. Well, being a Texas girl, I love me a good cowboy hat. So let's right. bring our cowboy in and show how this works and why it works for him and when we're looking for something for the men in our life, you know, what we should, what we should be looking for and how we can and really make right. a good Right. This is fit. Bob. He works at the store. Uh, that's a classic George Strait, which is made by the uh, same company that uh, makes Stetson hats. Okay. And that's your, your classic traditional Western hat. And so I'm noticing, and I'm going to get up in your space a little bit right here. I'm noticing like where he's wearing it down here is, you know, a little bit lower on his forehead. Right. Because that's the proper placement for a cowboy hat. Right. Of course, he knows this because he's got like the belt buckle. So I feel like that just... Yes, is, because you he, want to pull the hat down. This is down, not his so first rodeo, fits. shall we say, wearing a cowboy hat. A lot of people will put a hat on and they tip it back and that's not actually a good fit. So you always want it kind to be eyebrow. Pull it. Okay. Right. Very good. And why do you like that hat? Are you not even mic'd? I'll stand close to you. Why do you like this hat? It's a George Strait, first of all. All right, and, yeah. <laughs> you know, everybody loves George Strait. Absolutely, they do. Thank you so much. I'm going to have you step to the side. And I want to go back to these fedoras because as we do talk about that being, the, you know, really the big trend right here, and pardon me for walking in front of you, um, what are we, why does, why is the construction and um, really what this made of so, why is it so outstanding? Well, because around here, you get into a natural straw like these or the Panamas. If you hold them up to the light, you can actually get, see a little bit of light coming in so you can get some air. Okay. But it still ventilates so it's a little bit cooler for okay. summer. And those are the things we have to worry about for Phoenix because it gets so hot. Um, even with the straw hat, they can become uncomfortable if they don't breathe. Gotcha. So gotcha. that's why you have the different styles. And then, of course, you have a Panama, which is like this. Is, already ventilated. I like that one. Yeah, this is actually the number one selling Panama that we have in the store. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> that is number one. <laughs> I picked something right. Let me pick another guy, uh, gentleman to come over here and take a look. And I'm having you look into camera nine. And, and this is, I mean, he just screams vacation. Yeah, that's actually uh, a Panama hat there that is called the gambler or mm -hmm. plantation hat, a lot of guys will call. Uh, a lot of golfers wear those. Uh -huh. And then just as he's dressed casually. All right, and then t turn your head to the side so we can see and kind of tip down just a little bit so we can see. It's got that, that kind of detail on yeah, the Yeah, it's, it's called a kettle roll, and that uh, is a, from the Godfather, the Godfather look. Go to the mattresses? The kettle. Yes. Yeah, so Go you've the got mattresses. the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then you've got uh, variations of that style, too. They come into different colors and uh, bands and that type of stuff. Again, for everybody's own personality. Yeah. So. I'm going to bring Mr. Cowboy back. 
just so we, so we can show off his belt buckle one more time. <laughs> um, and also his hat as well. We'll have you guys step to the front, and we just want to um, let people know that if there's something that they see here, any of these hats, either you know on you guys or out there, um, we're going to have all your contact information right. on our website so they can get out there. I think it's a great gift for any of the men in your life, and um, you know, go ahead and look for that information on SonoranLiving.com. All right, well, Father's Day.